Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the intercept command inside of command and kind of showing what it does and sort of why it's helpful, why it's unhelpful, all that other good stuff that usually kind of comes along with it. So we have a pretty serious scenario here. Uh, we have a bunch of different sides. Um, I've got some uh, neutral friends here. I've got some allies here. I've got all sorts of craziness all appearing on the screen. Oh boy, there's unknown contacts appearing on the screen. Oh, things are just getting crazy. So let's go ahead and break down what the intercept command does and how to use it. So I've got myself the Thunder Twins right here, a couple F-16s. Duh. You know, what they're doing right now is um, I want them to go ahead and take a look at the skunk over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them, right click on this. Oh, no, it didn't work, right? So I'm going to click them again, press shift, right click, and you will notice we have this new menu that pops up, allowing me no sort of weapon to engage or the intercept command. Now, if I click intercept, you're going to get a big angry message here that's going to say no suitable weapons. Now, another thing happened here you probably observed as well, and that's the fact that it lost my plotted course. Uh oh. That's okay, though, because uh, we're going to give them something else to do. Now, let me grab a different aircraft here. I have an AJS-37 Vigan here, and you can see he's just kind of cruising uh, basically north here, if you want to think about it another way. He does have a suitable anti-ship weapon. He actually has a very capable one known as an RB-15. It's like a bus that you shoot off the bottom of this way too small airplane for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on Shift, right-click on the skunk, and notice I can either engage or I can intercept. So I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to order an intercept. I'm not going to do anything dumb here. Now, you're going to see a couple different things happen at once. Uh, first of all, we acquired another ship. We'll have to go check that one out in a minute. What you observe here is our aircraft is uh, picking up some speed. It's uh, starting to accelerate just a little bit. And the next thing you probably notice is it's automatically starting to descend. Now, you're sitting here going, is it going to descend down to like 20 or 30 feet or something like that? Like, uh, what is the deal with this guy? Why is he? Uh, oh, he stopped at 10,000 feet. So your brain's going... 10,000 feet? What's the deal with that? Well, 10,000 feet, of course, if you take a look here real quick, is going to be our engagement altitude. Uh, that's basically where we're going to let this thing rip. One of the things I find very interesting is the Nimrod and the Vigan are basically racing each other to say, oh, if I identified it. Oh, pause. What you'll observe here is this is a neutral ship. This is a commercial fishing boat. And you will notice the Vigan immediately broke off the attack. He's like, oh, I don't want to have a piece of that. That would be very, very, very embarrassing. So, that's so cool. So let's go ahead and uh, shift right click over at this skunk real quickly. I'm going to say intercept. And what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and spin himself around. You can see he got a little bit of altitude. Now he's going to basically do a big parabolic arc here. And he's just going to come swinging back down like this. And he's going to come take a look at uh, whatever this particular ship is on this side. And you can see the F-16s are trying to join into the fun as well. All right, we start sneaking up there. Everything's looking pretty good. Oh boy, getting close. I'm afraid to hit the time acceleration. I wish there was like a 10x or something like that. That would make this much interesting. Much easier, I should say, kind of a thing like that. And we're getting very, very close there. He's uh, just swinging in. Everything's looking pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Uh-oh, this might not be something friendly. Now, notice if he had some kind of radar on or something along those lines, this would be a much, much easier target to identify because we could basically sneak up on it. But the problem is uh, we have to get basically on top of this guy in order to say, oh, no, he's hostile. And the cool thing is you'll notice the moment that he identified the target as hostile, he wasted no time and immediately dropped both of those RB-15s on him. Now, the interesting thing, of course, is uh, this is a <laughs> basically a minimum engagement range of an RB-15. I think we fired those at what? Yeah, that was like six miles away. So like he barely had time to recognize his stacks and basically drop two of those on him. So that's got to be inconvenient for him, of course. Now, what happens when you try to intercept an allied unit? So uh, we're dealing with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Thunder Twins here. Shift, I'm going to right click on the C-130 Hercules. And uh, what you'll notice here is if I shift right click, there are no options here for my intercept. Uh, that's simply mathematically not possible because it is an allied unit. I can't basically say, hey, get over here like that. If I wanted them to actually follow this unit around, what I would have to do naturally they said I have to actually kind of bind everything, get it all set up, and basically control it that way. Now, as I'm cruising along here, I happen to pick up another target. I happen to identify a Boeing 737 that seems to have taken off just a few moments ago. Now, if I were to grab my Thunder Twins here and I shift right click on one of these, you'll notice I still have the intercept command. But notice what happens when I ordered up the intercept that time. You'll see that it automatically identified them, and now it's rushing alongside them to basically engage them. It's one of those things that you have to be very, very mindful of. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that missile. Uh, that is not the desired behavior at all. So now I gotta go back up to blue. I gotta go to postures. I gotta green. I gotta go ahead and say they're uh, neutral one more time to basically reset them. So again, I'll do that one more time just so you can be aware of that. Shift, right click. I've already identified them. And again, you can see intercept. The moment I order them on a neutral target, 
The missile launches. Oh, so that's a very common mistake people make. Now, if these targets were completely unknown to us, I keep in mind we did identify them because we have the little sniper pod on the F-16 to make it easier to identify them. That would be a slightly different story for us. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be shooting down any airliners. I don't do that if I can help it. So let's go ahead and go back to there. We'll go back to blue postures. We'll go ahead and grab those real quickly here. Set them back to uh, neutral. <laughs> we'll go ahead and pause that sucker. There we go. So now the F-16s can now feel really silly because, of course, they try to uh, target these. Now, if I went in here and hit P like that, let's, I just want to drop them for a second. Oh, pause. Now, if I were to see them as neutral targets and hold on shift, right click, and then press intercept, you'll notice once again, it will try to lock them on as hostile until it can identify it completely for this particular scenario. Now, unfortunately, our little F-16 buddies are gone. What are you doing to me, man? <laughs> you also notice uh, they're RTB. And the reason they're RTB, of course, is because of the fact not that they're low on fuel, but of course, um, basically what had happened here is uh, they've done their one attack. So they automatically know to come back. Notice, by the way, once we confirm the target is friendly one more time, we uh, did not cancel the attack, but we were able to identify them back to that without having the collective responsibility problem. All right, let's go out to see with our little F-16s here. We've got plenty of ocean here, so I'm gonna get cruising here. And again, it's one of those where sometimes you know your scenario, sometimes you don't, but that's okay. Uh-oh, yeah, we've already picked that guy up a while ago. We probably identified him. Yeah, of course we identified him. We've got nothing to take shots at with him though. Kind of kind of disappointed with that. So anyway, I'm gonna send my F-16s out this way. See, oh, we found something. Now we've identified a couple interesting things here. We've got ourselves an RTS as a bear and we have an unknown target. So I'm gonna grab my Thunder Twins here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop, whoa, grabbing them. There we go, shift right click. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll, sh I'll let go ahead and hit intercept there. Now our F-16 buddies right here, I'm going RTB and go ahead and unassign them for that. There we go. And you can see uh, now that I've gone ahead and ordered them, they're now going to pick up speed and they're going to go right into intercept mode. Now, one of the cool things with this intercept here, and uh, one of the things I appreciate about this, is you'll notice we've identified the path that the bear is actually taking. So our lovely F-16s here are actually plotting an intercept course. So uh, you can see that they kind of spun around and then they're leading them early and then they're going to go ahead and engage the other one, all based on whatever their ROE is actually going to be for their given scenario. So let them go ahead and take a couple pot shots here. Whee! Oh, that one's going to do some damage. Ah! Uh, I don't know if you're going to get a Baron 1, but we'll take a look. So, oh, going to have to try that again. Uh, there we go. Nice. And they're RTB once again. So as you can see, the intercept command is a pretty useful command. It gets a little funky when you're dealing with some neutral units, especially if you already know something is neutral in order to, to intercept, it's going to treat as hostile and basically shoot at it. If you have an unknown, it's going to try to identify what it is, then it will attack if it has to. Otherwise, it's basically going to stalk it around, which is a kind of fun if that's something you're trying to do in a given scenario. Enjoy.